we're going to review configuration attributes. In this bundle of a Canvas backpack, you can see that there is a configuration attribute here for size. And these backpacks are meant for all different types of people. So we have giants and we have elves and we have everybody in between. So our sizes need to go all the way up beyond 6th XL. So in this example, we're going to choose, let's say, a 5XL backpack. And we will add our potions to this backpack. So we're going to add a couple of these, and then we'll add one of these. This over here, for class, this is also a configuration attribute, but this one is at the feature level, because this configuration attribute is associated with this feature for standard potions. So we're going to say these potions are going to a mage that is a very large mage, and we will save this now. When we save this, we're going to see that we have our line item drawers are enabled. So we'll expand these drawers, and you can see that the size we selected, 5XL, has been applied to all of the options as well as the selection for class. This has been selected for all of the options as well. All right, so let's talk about how we did that because this is really the end result. If we go over here to our configuration attribute, this configuration attribute is associated with this product over here for Canvas Backpack. We have a row order one, a column order one, which means it's going to show up in the top left side of the screen. If we did a column order of two, it would show up in the middle of the screen. And if we did a column order of three, it would show up over here on the left side of the screen. So that's what the row and column order, it's just like a, just like a spreadsheet. We also have this as required. So we have to choose some kind of a value. And let me just refresh my screen here because we also have, here we go, a checkbox for apply to product options. So this has been selected and that's why the value showed up on all of those options. If you don't want this to be the behavior, you can uncheck this box, but that's how that was done. Now, in addition to having this configuration attribute that is set on the product, we also need to have a target field. And this target field is always going to require us to have some field API name. That's why it says size underscore underscore C. That's the API name of a field that lives on the product option. So this is where things start to get a little dicey. And sometimes people can start to get a little scared of like, oh no, what, what am I getting into? But we're going to talk about this in several different ways. So hopefully you just don't go anywhere. So this target field on the configuration attribute looks at a field over here on product option. And that's so that if you do want this to apply to all of your product options, the system is smart enough to know, oh, okay, I'm going to put it in here in this size field. The last place that we need to have a field is over on the quote line, because once you save everything, you want your quote lines to have this information. That way you can use it down the road, maybe with advanced order management, maybe with some kind of fulfillment on a report, who knows? But so we have this size as a pick list on the quote line. We have size as a pick list on the product option. And then we add the API name of that value to the configuration attribute target field. So you've got two pick lists and one API name that's getting added to a pick list. So you're updating three objects in total. Your configuration attribute object is getting this target field updated. Your product option is getting the pick list made and your quote line is getting the pick list made so that the values will sync over. And really that's, that's the extent of it. If you do all three of those things and you are still stuck, you can always drop me a comment and I might be able to help you. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day.